hello my friends welcome back to how we will cook in today's video we're going to be making some delicious blackened red snapper and we're also going to be making some mashed potatoes here i have my snapper i'm going to go ahead and rinse it with some lime and then we're going to go ahead and proceed to seasoning so i'm going to be using some zatarain's blackened seasoning i also have some cayenne pepper because when i'm having seafood i like a little spice and later on i will also add some red pepper flakes also i'm gonna add some thyme on the fish as well and i'm using dried thyme before i season the fish i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna grease both sides with some olive oil whichever oil you have i'm gonna grease both sides and then i'm going to add my seasoning this way the seasoning will get to stick to the fish And you won't see me add any black pepper or salt because this blackened seasoning has garlic, it has onion powder, it has chili peppers, it has a lot of stuff combined together. It's really good on its own. It's only because I need extra spice where I'm adding the cayenne, but it really does have everything in it. So adding extra seasoning will only make it salty. So now we're just going to flip it and we're going to repeat the same process on the other side. So I'm going to put it aside so that it can marinate while I'm making my potatoes. I'm going to rinse the potatoes before I peel them. For the potatoes, you don't necessarily have to peel them. You can go ahead and mash your potatoes in the skin if that's what you like. Now that my potatoes are peeled and properly rinse i'm gonna go ahead and slice them i'm gonna try and slice them in even slices so that they can cook evenly i'm just gonna add a little salt to the water you can always go ahead and add salt afterwards so you don't really have to add too much when you're boiling the potatoes or if you boil it with enough salt you don't have to add any after So I added some olive oil to the pot and I added a little bit of lime juice, just a little to give it some lime flavor. And now I'm going to sear it skin side down. So I gave the snapper three minutes on one side and I'm going to go ahead and flip it. So I gave them three minutes on each side and now we're going to go ahead and set them aside. I'm going to make a little garlic butter to put on the fish just to give it an extra garlic flavor. You don't necessarily have to do this step. So I'm adding a piece of butter in my pot and I'm going to add about a teaspoon of garlic, you know, just to give it that nice garlic flavor. And I'm also going to add a little red pepper flakes and that's it. I allow the garlic to saute for a couple minutes then I add the red pepper flakes and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my fish I'm gonna add the fish skin side up just so that the fish can get to absorb that garlic butter and then I'm gonna place it my oven is already preheated at 375 degrees and we're gonna give it about five to eight minutes <laughs> My potatoes are now fully cooked and I'm going to go ahead and make a creamy sauce because I want the potato to be nice and creamy. I'm going to add some butter to my pot, about a quarter stick of butter. I'm also going to add some garlic, just a little bit to give it that nice garlic flavor. You don't want it to be overpowering, so you want to add just a pinch, just maybe a half teaspoon of garlic. Or if you love garlic, you can add more. So I'm adding some heavy cream. I add about a cup of heavy cream. And I'm going to season this with some black pepper and just a pinch of salt. Now I'm going to add some dehydrated parsley. If you have fresh parsley, you can go ahead and add it. And we don't want this to come to a boil. We just want it to heat up and 
we're going to remove it from the stove now and i'm going to gradually add it to my potatoes but first i'm going to go ahead and mash it it all depending on how you like your mashed potato if you want to leave back a little chunk in there you can just use your potato masher and if you like it nice and smooth you can use a potato ricer and if you don't have one after mashing it with the potato masher you can just run it through your strainer so now i'm gradually adding my creamy mixture i'm adding i think i added about half cup but i really can't give you measurement because i don't know what amount that you're going to be making however you just don't want it to be runny all right you want it to be creamy and smooth but not runny so just add it gradually until you have that consistency there you have a delicious dinner you can make this for a birthday night anniversary night any special occasion or if you just want to treat yourself to a lovely dinner restaurant style i asked my daughter how is it if it's restaurant quality she was like no it's better go ahead and give this a try and let me know in the comment section all right thank you so much for watching please go ahead and just give the video a thumbs up if you like it all right, if you don't like it, that's fine. But if you like it, just give it a thumbs up. It really helps my page and my channel if you hit the like button. All right, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your love and your support. And I pray that you're having a lovely week. And yeah, come back for the next one. All right, thank you so much. And stay tuned for the shrimp, which I will post in a real soon.